<clears throat> Testing. One, two, three. I think we've all at one point been told, hey, when a girl changes her hair, it means something. Now, the truth is, when a human changes their hair, it usually represents something greater than just the haircut. Now, fellas, I'm not talking about, you know, a higher fade or a little more on the top, right? But you cut your dreads off or you bleach your hair blonde, usually probably represents something greater than just a, a, a quick cut or something like that. And as you saw, the new look of Jonathan Kaminga has been unveiled, not just bleaching the hair, but it looked like the, the little bit of facial hair he's rocking too. I mean, hey, I think he can pull it off. If we're just talking aesthetically, I think he can pull it off because he's a unique looking dude. He's six foot eight. And then he dresses in all this designer stuff. So he looks like a rock star. He does. And perhaps this represents him moving into that next phase that, hell, the Warriors certainly need him to do, right? And, and you can actually look at the history of star players. And a lot of the time you can mark different looks of different phases in their career, right? Kobe with the fro, wearing number eight, right? Bald head D. Wade. Full hairline LeBron. <laughs> no, but it, there are. There's these little markers of different looks when a guy, you know, just changes it up. And so maybe that represents for Kaminga, you know, this is the, the next phase for him. Y'all remember value meals, right? You'd stop off for some fast food for a value meal. Well, now so-called value meals are what, like $10, $12? I mean, <laughs> I, that's where Factor, I think, could really help a lot of you. Fresh, never frozen food delivered directly to your doorstep all dietitian approved over 35 different meals to choose from per week smart cow chef's choice protein plus a bunch of different snacks that you can add in i've been adding in the juices to kind of curb the the sweet tooth i don't i don't drink it all at once but just a couple sips throughout the day and i don't seem to have those those sweet cravings but 2 minutes and you're ready to go again fresh never frozen and you don't have dishes, right? It's just very convenient, it's affordable, and best of all, it's good quality food that you're putting into your body. So head over to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use the code ALCHEMY50 for 50% off your first box at Factor. And you know, so much focus with Kaminga and a lot of young players are kind of the physical attributes that they bring. And it's a part of the game. We all know that, right? And, and, and a lot of these guys, they've got one or two, you know, really good ingredients, but they're missing one. For instance, Derek Jones Jr. He's got length, obviously a ton of bounce and quickness, right? But he's missing strength. If Derek Jones Jr. was stronger and more powerful, he'd probably be a star player. But he doesn't have that ingredient. It's just not in his frame, not in his genetics and so he's a really good role player. I mean, he was in the finals. It's no slight to Derek Jones Jr., but my point is Jonathan Kaminga is not missing any physical ingredients, right? He's got strength, quickness, speed, bounce, body control, and that's what's so intriguing about him and what a lot of the focus is on him as a young player. But we also know you can have all the ingredients. doesn't matter if you don't have the right mentality. We all know guys that look like Tarzan and play like Jane. Damian Jones comes to mind. Or, or GR3 might be a, a better example of a guy who had all the physical attributes, Glenn Robinson the third, but you only saw it in flashes, right? You only saw it in flashes and spots. You're like, oh, wow, wow. But it wasn't consistent. And that to me is probably the most intriguing part about Kaminga. Yeah, we know he's got the ingredients, he seems to have the natural disposition and mentality to use them, right? There's, there's just a natural aggression and mental stamina that we've seen from young Kaminga that leads me to believe that he can be that guy. Because a lot of the time, that's the separator. That's the separator, right? I'll, I'll throw out another older name here for you, for you Warrior fans, Larry Hughes. You remember Larry Hughes? Larry had all the ingredients he didn't have the mental stamina to carry the burden each night as the star player. One night it'd be 40, the next night it'd be 15, right? He just couldn't do it on a night-to-night -night basis. He didn't have that, that disposition, 
right? He was supposed to be with Kobe and T-Mac for a while. And then I was like, no, no, no. He doesn't have that mental stamina. He didn't, he didn't want to carry that burden. Well, Kaminga not only looks like he can carry that burden, he wants it, right? He wants it. And, and that, that's not to say that it won't initially fail. He's only 21 still. That's the issue, right? That's the issue with the timetable. And we don't need to go into all of that. So I'm not saying it's right away going to happen. But again, beyond the physical attributes, it's his mental disposition and, and appears to be stamina. We haven't, we haven't seen it. I know some of you are going to say, look, Al, we haven't seen him get handed the ball you know, for a, stretch, a long enough stretch of games and be like, all right, go to work. You're going to carry us offensively. I know. I know. But what does your gut tell you when you see him, right? It, it, he, he's always, it, he wants it. He wants it. It's not something you have to encourage him, aka he's not Wiggins. It's not like, here, Kaminga, be aggressive, right? It's like, slow down. Slow down, like, you'll get your opportunity, right? He's, like, foaming at the mouth for it. And so, again, I, I, the, the look, it, he can pull it off. I, I'm not mad at it at all because I think that uh, it, it may represent him stepping into the next phase of his career. The other, I guess, little bit of news from Kaminga's camp was they want that Franz Wagner deal, which is, what, 220? Two, is it 220? And then this morning, take it for what it's worth, this is all, you know, you know, uh, just rumors, but they said, oh, the Warriors are looking at, you know, 140, 150, something around, you know, that ballpark area. The ballpark term was thrown out there. That's never a good thing, right? When, when it comes to negotiations. You know what it sounds a lot like? It sounds a lot like the Brandon Ayuk situation. And, and, and ironically, Ayuk and Kaminga, I see some, there's some parallels. There's some similarities in their personality. Soft-spoken, quiet off the court, loud players on the field, right? And on the court, and they're also both in, you know, now the IU deal is done, obviously, but in a spot where you're like, yeah, they're good, but they're not like, we're not, we're not going to negotiate good where it's like, oh, it's a no brainer. We, we just want to retain you. That's all we want to do. They're not that good. So hopefully it doesn't get drawn out like that or anything like that, but that that's going to continue the proofs in the pudding. And, and if he can be proved to be that second scorer, he's going to command the market value. That, that it's just as simple as that. The other little bit of Warriors news that came out this weekend. Well, it wasn't news, right? It was just something that happened. Was it planned? I don't know. It, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Steph running into Clay at the Liberty Aces game yesterday in New York. And there were a lot of people there, right? Z Page, Derek Lively was, that was kind of the part about it, right? I kind of buried the lead. It's not just running into Clay. He runs into Clay, chopping it up with his new teammate, Derek Lively. And Steph played it brilliantly, almost as if he already knew Clay was gonna be there and it was just kind of awkward and gave the, you know, the awkward internet face and stuff like that. But, but if you were to read the body language of it, I think Steph made light and, and made it a comedic moment when it still truly was awkward. You know what it reminded me of? You know, when you run into somebody uh, the gym is a great example of this, right? And you kind of want to just get into your workout or you, you want to get get to going where you're going. And so they're like, hey, and they want to stop and talk. And so you talk, you're facing, but you're kind of like drifting away from them. You're like, yeah, 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 all right, all right, all right. All right. And they, and they kind of hold you, right? If you watch Steph and Clay, they're both kind of doing the drift. And it, it, it so, you know, the smiles on their faces, but it's still, it's still too new. It's still too new. It's like you run into your ex- a couple weeks after the breakout, it's awkward, right? As opposed to like six or seven months where you can be like, so how are things going? Like, you look good. Da, da, da. It's too new. What are they going to talk about, right? But Steph, you know, handled it well. They handled it well. It was a cool moment. Um, but yeah, no, was it November 14th? Is that is that the return date? Yeah, we'll see how many smiles are on people's faces during that one. I expect that to be intense, man. That's going to be, might have to live stream that one. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on, I, I had like five people DM me the Kaminga new look and I was like, all right, I, I'll, I'll talk about it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about my thoughts on it. Um, Niners jets Monday night. I'm excited for that one. I will have a breakdown of that on my patron, have some fun with that. Um, you know, Trent missing all of training camp. I get people saying, oh, you know, well, he's a vet and it'll be fine. You know, I, I think, if, uh, what are the percentages of an injury occurring in the first couple of weeks when, when a player misses all of training camp? And you can say the same thing about Ayuk, but th that's the name of the game, right? It, it's a war of attrition in the NFL, and it's just, we'll see. 
curious to see what Rodgers looks like. My gut, maybe I'm being a homer here. I, I don't know if New York's ready for this spotlight. I think there's a lot of pressure on them. And, uh, you know, coming into San Francisco, I'm not saying it won't be close, but when push comes to shove, I, I expect the Niners to get this thing done. And I expect Brock Purdy to take another step forward into being an elite quarterback. But yeah, breakdown of that one in the morning. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.